Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and I'm standing outside a commercial property that I have under contract right now. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of the property and uh, what's going on with it, give you a little bit of information. And if I do end up buying it, I will show you the whole thing, go over all the numbers and all that. But um, show you some of it right here. This property was brought to me by a commercial agent who I've been working with for a while. Um, total thing is over 70,000 square feet. I'm just gonna show you a couple of the empty spaces. But um, yeah, it's been vacant for a few years in these two back spaces. The other spaces have been occupied for many, many years. So it cash flows extremely well, um, makes quite a bit of money, was a really good deal. And we're just kind of going through the inspections right now, the appraisal, things like that. But uh, before we get too far into it, of course, make sure you check out investformore.com for my weekly podcast, articles on rentals, flips, all that good stuff. Um, I bought four commercial rental properties last year. Uh, my goal is to add $6,000 a month in passive income from rental properties this year, and this building will produce a big chunk of that. So i um, excited uh, to get in here again and show you what's going on. This used to be kind of a, obviously, a, just an office. Um, it's not in amazing shape. They've had it for a lease for a while, and it hasn't been in very good condition when they marketed it. So it's not a huge surprise that it um, hasn't been leased. You can see there were some roof leaks in the past that were fixed, but they never fixed the ceiling tiles, things like that. Um, it's about 4,000 square feet, this whole space. Lots of offices. And another reason why I'm showing you this is I'm thinking about starting my own real estate brokerage and this or the other space might become my new office. I really don't need this much space, but um, I can probably figure out a way to make it work. Not sure if we can split it, which would be nice, but don't think that'll happen. And the cool part about this space is it has a second floor. So um, there have been some tenants interested in it. Here, I'll turn the lights on. But they want us to tear out this entire second floor, make it real tall ceilings on the main floor, one big open space. So it'd be really cool, but also really expensive to do that. There's a second stairway down there. So that is one of the units. About 4,000 square feet on the main floor. Um, another 3,000 and some up here. But again, not extremely useful. There's no windows, not finished. But you could definitely figure out some uses for it. All right, head back down here and then I'll show you the other space here real quick. All right, here's the second vacant space in this building. Like I said, I'm leaving out quite a bit of the huge part of it until we actually buy the property, get that all finalized. So this space, it's about the same size, 4,000 square feet or so. A um, little more open in front. It was actually kind of a retail store before. Has bathrooms there, so you can see carpets seen better days. Kind of a low ceiling, but not horrible. And uh, this space may work better for my office. It might be set up a little better, but um, I have to figure all that out here in the next couple months or so. Kind of winds back through here to a bunch of little rooms. Another room there. More space back here. It inherits some cubicles, which I already have enough of already, but that's okay. And then there's another room back here. So 
So this is a pretty big space too. It's kind of weird though because a lot of these back rooms have no other entrance to get into them. So no windows either. Not really utilized very well, um, but you know, there's always an opportunity to put a golf simulator in here, which would be pretty cool. <laughs> and that door goes into the middle unit, which is occupied right now by another small office. And then it winds back this way again. There is one, another exit right there. More room space right here. And then we're back to the start out here. So that's the two vacant units. Um, has four other tenants in it. And um, I think we're pretty close to getting things solidified on this property. We're supposed to close the end of the month, but not sure that will happen in time. Our appraisal is going a little slow. Inspection issue is going a little slow. But um, hopefully we can figure that out. And yeah, once it closes, we'll do a full video of the whole property, which might take a while, because <laughs> this is just a very small piece of the whole thing. And um, talk about price, value, rents, income, all of that as well when we actually purchase it. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any brilliant ideas for office space or what to do with these, let me know. Always appreciate comments. And uh, yeah. We'll update you when more news happens. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out investformore.com for more information. And uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure you get notified when the new video is out, make sure you subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.